What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffner back with another video. It's been a minute since I've had one of these working on the car, I guess, videos, and that's because we haven't had a race car. <laughs> if you watched two race day videos ago, uh, we rear clipped our late model stock car. In the meantime, between now and two and a half weeks ago, it's been at the chassis shop. So we're about to go pick it up today. And uh, it's got a new rear clip on it. Got to get it painted and thrashed for this weekend because we have twin 40s at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night. So it is Wednesday. So we got some work cut out for us. I'm going to take you guys with us and uh, we'll see what happens. We are here at Jason's shop. We're not at the dash shop. Uh, as our, Jason's limited car. Uh, Jason took the late model while I was gone on vacation and cut the rear clip off of it here and then sent it to the chassis shop. So we're just gonna go ahead and work on it here at his place while he has everything here to do so. Just gonna be a lot easier on us. Body panel wise, I think we are gonna be able to use everything that was off the car. This came out okay. I mean, it's gonna take some heat and I gotta re-rivet it back together, but y'all know how we recycle body parts. Bumper cover's okay. Both quarter panels I think is gonna be all right. This one's pretty busted up at the back, but I'll just put a piece of aluminum on it and it should go back together. And then uh, I guess the rest of the body's still on the race car, so. Best I can remember. <laughs> Best Jason can remember. I guess it comes back without a nose and we'll have other problems. Again, while the car's been at the chassis shop, we went ahead and took the rear end out. Jason went through it, put new ratchet springs in it, all that good stuff. We also had a little like spot on the on the bell where it was wounded. So my dad welded a piece back into it, so it should be okay. But gave us an opportunity to go through everything and make sure all that stuff was good so that we don't have any issues out of her. So it'll go back in in the near future as well. Hey, rear gear, rear ends back together. So I gotta put the uh, hub and whatnot back on it. But we're about to go ahead and eat the race car and uh, get her back here to shop. Put some paint on it. While I'm thinking about it, you guys probably have seen this news already, but uh, North Booksboro's back. I mean, how freaking badass is that? For one, about to go through a light change here. Bro, how badass is that? For one. Second of all, I think we're gonna try to race two divisions at least, maybe three. So I've got the pro late model and uh, then obviously we have our late model stock. And then um, we also have limited late models. So we have the ability to run that Friday and Saturday. I think it's August 19th and 20th in the pro late. And then uh, a week and a half later, that Tuesday and Wednesday is the late model stock, which wouldn't interfere with our Hickory uh, points racing. So we got some options. So if you're interested in partnering with us for those North Books Pro races, reach out to me on any social platform. Shoot me an email, racing at gmail.com, what have you. But uh, let's go get this race car and bust some ass on this baby. Let's go. All right, well, as quick as we pulled in, I guess we're gonna leave. <laughs> Still not ready. Uh, I don't know. We might get it back by Saturday morning. A couple late nights. <laughs> we'll be all right. I'm going to leave the trailer. I'm going to go get... I don't know what I'm about to do. We're going to unhook the trailer, go back and stare at each other for another hour. But because of the delay, I'm going to run back towards my shop, get some stuff done that I need to take care of, and then head back over this way with Jason here in a little bit and hopefully we can pick up the race car then and uh, continue to work on it so i will catch you guys back up here whenever i get back to jason's shop all right ladies and gentlemen we are back and it is eight o'clock and we are just now getting our race car so we're in for a long night long night
All right, so I got the, uh, got the clip painted, let that dry, and I'm going to work on this body stuff while that's happening. Uh, rear end's ready to go back in it, so uh, just going to keep plugging away here. working I'm gonna be quick so we don't get a copyright but uh, motors back in it getting the transmission in it now I've been working on the body I got the right side back together <clears throat> it's all riveted just got to get the bumper bar welded and all that good stuff at the back so we can put the bumper cover back on and then I can finish that left side uh, quarter panel but Jason you did a good job on the motor bud we good we good God, please don't tear my quarter panel off. <laughs> All right, so we got the motor in, transmission's in. Rear ends underneath it, truck arms are underneath it. Fuel, cell. Fuel cells in it, yes. Yeah. Um, the right side body stuff is done. All this stuff's back riveted. Uh, I've still got to, we still got to weld the uh, bumper bar back up and the deck lid bar. All right, guys, I'm on my way home from the shop. My dang phone went dead again. <laughs> done that on me a couple of times here but thank you guys for all the support we really worked hard tonight got a whole lot done so i'll be back at it again tomorrow i'll have another video we're thrashing and trying to make shit happen here so we can get to hickory motor speedway this saturday night uh, but i just uh, want to thank you guys for supporting the channel we're almost to 7500 uh, subscribers here it's been a journey and uh, we've got a lot of, a lot of good times and a lot of races to run here over the next year or so so I appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate it. I'm out. Peace.